Hey everyone, it's Jessie. So today I'm going to show you how to do the magic ring, which is also known as the magic circle. So a lot of times we use this technique to make something in the round or in a circle. The first thing you want to do is find the tail end of your yarn, and we're going to leave about five or six inches or so, and we're going to drape it over our fingers here, and then take your thumb and hold on to that yarn on your ring finger. Take the yarn, wrap it around these two fingers, wrap it around once, and then you're going to come up and crisscross and move it up along the two fingers here and then hold on to the yarn with your pinky. Now we're going to grab our crochet hook. You're going to go under the first strand of yarn pull the second strand up and then you're going to twist your crochet hook upwards and then we, what we want to do from here is we want to make a chain so the yarn that's up here you're going to want to put your hook under turn your hook down a little bit and pull that through the loop and now from there you can go ahead and take this off your fingers and that is your magic ring so you'll have your tail end on this end and then we're going to bring our working yarn over to that end too to the left and then for whatever project you're working it will tell you how many chains to make before you work into the magic ring so for this example we're just going to use double crochets so we already have one chain here so we're going to chain two more to make a total of three chains for a double crochet. And then we're going to make some double crochets into the magic ring. Now whatever project you're working, they might have you be doing single crochet, half double crochet, and they'll tell you how many to make in that magic ring. For this demonstration, we're going to count this one, this chain three as a double crochet, and we're gonna chain nine more in here for a total of 10 double crochet. And it can be tricky to get that in there, so you'll wanna hold on, I kinda hold on right here, yarn over, and hold it as I'm putting my double crochets in there. That kinda helps steady that circle there. So go ahead and make those nine double crochets. And when you're done with that, meet me back here. Okay, so now I have a total of 10 double crochet, including that chain three we had at the beginning. And then what you want to do is take the tail end here and you're gonna slowly pull that closed. And what that does is close up that little circle in the middle and then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it to that chain three. So we're gonna use a slip stitch and we're gonna go into the top of that chain three. That was our first chain, second and third right here. So you wanna slip your hook in there and we're just doing a slip stitch. And that completes our magic ring. If this video was helpful at all, if you could please give me a like below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.